Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ANTH. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that I don't think anybody can really argue from where the price was down here. This was quite the bounce all the way up here. Again, I don't think anybody's gonna sit around and say, no, that wasn't a very nice bounce. Everybody would agree, good solid price movement. That does lead to the question though, but is there any sort of true power behind it? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can link make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And that single level is right here at, uh, what is that? The 65 cent mark. Why is 65 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movement with genuine strength, with true power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, a price movement that's truly strong is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about, the 65 cent mark, any sort of closes below it or worse it up the price separates to the downside. What is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this range where it's already been. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down there. If you picture each of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction and that's the name of the game. That's what truly strong moves do, right? They make progress in the upwards direction. So to me, 65 cents is that very revealing level. What is it revealing? Well, it's revealing whether or not any sort of consolidation is healthy, whether any sort of consolidation is actually maintaining progress. And again, defining maintaining progress as staying up above 65 cents. What about levels of resistance? This one's pretty straightforward. At this point in time, it's all about, I think, what is that, about 72 cents, 73 cents. The 73 cent mark, if you go back through the history of the chart, you can see that the bull struggled with it right there. And then once again today, multiple occasions struggled with it. Not saying 73 cents can't be broken, just saying according to the, you know, quote unquote story of the chart, apparently the bulls are really gonna have to bring their A game if they're gonna not only get through it, but then maintain above it. Anyway, you slice it though, very nice day to day. So we'll see if the bulls can build upon this momentum going forward. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.